Welcome back to another video. This is me, Brandon Rhodes, or as feminists call me, the Sapphire Stallion, right? And I don't know why they call me that. I have no idea why they call me that. All right, today we're talking about something that's so happy. It's so it's just an amazing inspiration. What I want you to do is I want you to close your eyes and think about a time where you had just a good time, you know? It might be with yourself, with your friends, with your family, with your boyfriend, or with your girlfriend. Now think about that time. How does that make you feel? Does that make you feel good? Looking back, reminiscing on the good times that you had. That feeling that you just had is the same feeling I have when I go to a Waffle House by myself. I don't think that anyone can walk into a Waffle House and be depressed. And if they are, as soon as they walk in that door, they're saved. You know, they're not sad anymore. Because when have you walked into a Waffle House and it's just been depressing in there? You know, as soon as you walk in, the beautiful cooks with three teeth tell you good morning or good afternoon or how's your day been or welcome in you know they have different sayings and then you pick your spot you know this is very important the the picking your spot part is the most important do we want to sit in the back over there by the bathrooms do we want to sit on the bar or this is the most important part do you want to sit at the window and have that window visibility Okay, because that's what I like doing. I like sitting in the corner spot, in the corner window spot with 100% visibility of everything around me. Okay, I get to see the beautiful cars passing by. I get to see the beautiful and innocent pedestrians walking down the street. Waffle House is just a good time. I don't think I've ever walked into a Waffle House and had a bad time. I don't think anyone on this planet has walked into a Waffle House and had a bad time. Even if you were to be broken up with by your significant other, you would still have a good time. Why? <laughs> well, it, because it's Waffle House. And if you're not from the Southeast, <laughs> boy, are you missing out. You know, you guys probably have IHOP or Denny's. Get that crap out of here. We want the real stuff. We want the Waffle House. And if you know what Huddle House is, boy, <laughs> boy, are you down South. <laughs> But in all seriousness, Waffle House is an amazing place. It's a comfort place for me. I go there, or I try to go there every Saturday morning, and I have the same waitress, and I we talk about our week. We sit there and we reminisce on our good times. We sit there and we talk about anything under this beautiful sun that is consistently shining vitamin D into our bodies, into our skins. And I don't even have to look at the men, you know what I'm saying? A lot of you probably don't have to either. I sit down. One cup of coffee or one cup of water, please. Thank you. Can I get four? Yeah, I said that right. Four little things of creamers, right? And then, I don't even know how much. I don't have the measurement of it, and I still haven't perfected it. But I put a bunch of, bunch of sugar in that coffee. I want to feel alive for the rest of the day, man. I want to be energized, you know? I want to go kiss a dude if I want to. You know what I'm saying? But... <laughs> But I don't know what it is about, like, the coffee. The coffee's, you know, I've had better coffee, you know. And it's, it's probably not Waffle House's fault. It's probably my fault because I make a bad coffee. But just something about sitting there, sipping on that coffee by myself, just kind of sitting there and thinking, taking everything in, taking the hustling and bustling of the Saturday mornings, the, the busyness of the Saturday mornings, just taking it all in. And, you know, your boy's got to get the all-star special. Well, how do I want my eggs? I want them scrambled, please, and thank you. You want sausage, bacon, or ham? <laughs> no, ma'am, I'm kind of trying to lay off the pork. I want that chicken. All right, I want it cooked good, please, and thank you. Do you want the hash browns or grits? I would gladly take the grits, and can you please put cheese in them along with my eggs, right? And, of course, I'm going to put salt on it. Like, who doesn't put salt in their grits? All right, and if you call me a little baby for eating grits, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm sucking on a nipple because I'm a baby, right? And then what do I get? I get their raisin toast. Oh, gosh, the raisin toast, and I dip it in the grits. Oh, my gosh. And then, of course, to end everything off with a big final, final shebang, right, like the end of a porno or something, you get the blueberry waffles. I mean, I've never... I mean, some people get the chocolate chip, but eh, no, not for me. I love those blueberry waffles. I love how they feel in my mouth, right? I love the blueberry waffles. And yeah, I'm eating all of that. I'm not taking it home. I don't think I've ever taken 
like a to-go box home from Waffle House. I'm going to be very honest with you. I don't think I've ever done anything like that. And then, I, of course, I finish it. You know, I eat all of it. And then I'm just sitting there sipping my coffee. Sitting there just thinking. Not even on my phone. Just thinking. Thinking of how my week was. Thinking of how next week's going to be. I don't know, man. It's just something about going to a Waffle House by yourself. Sitting there eating and just thinking. Talking to the waitress. Talking to everybody that comes in. Just something about being a regular somewhere, you know? It's like that sense of community that you have within your town. You know, so I I urge you to go do that. I urge you to go put it on your your weekly schedule. If you do have that feeling of the Waffle House, let me know in the comments. Maybe maybe we can take a Waffle House trip together. Why not? Let's make a day out of it. Just stay there all day. The 24-hour Waffle House challenge. All right, no, but seriously, thank you guys for listening. I really do appreciate it. Or thank you for watching. Have a good day.